deal. This is my unboxing video of the Lima Pro Lump 11, I think they call it, from System 76. I'm not sure why they call it. Well, I mean, yeah, it's the Lima Pro since the Lump. Anyway, let's see how quickly I can injure myself here on this video. As you can see, the packaging is superior. The tape is not impenetrable. I'm afraid to get this. Oh, there we go. That just snaps. Almost. I need to control this cut. Kind of See if we can get a good angle on this. Oh, I went in the wrong way. Ta da! Pretend that's how it came out. We'll open this up. Let's see what we've got. Exactly what I wanted. This thing has 40 gigs of RAM and a 2 terabyte hard drive and some kind of CPU. I, to be honest, even though I'm a developer, like I don't really care about the CPU because um, it's not really that big a deal. I would think that would be like an important focus for like a developer because like you know, compile your code or whatever, but RAM comes in place so much more often, and disk drive space comes in place so much more often than actual CPU, so like, I don't care. Could be a seller on the track. And... So with your purchase, you get an entire microphone tool that major selling point right there. And these cute little stickers. The instructions on how to use a computer, I presume. And I can build a robot. Cool. Let's put that aside and look. Device. Awesome, huh? Okay, this happens. Let's get that in there. There we go. Let's get that one closer. Ta da! It's very nicely packaged. Let's see if I can turn it on right now. Or if it needs to charge. straight into PapOS, which is System 76's Linux flavor. Oh, that's pretty. It's a nice display. Let's see if I can find Dvorak in here, or is it just the language? Um, I guess I'm just picking the language. United States, yep, that's where I live. There we go. But, um, is there a Dvorak in here? Yeah, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Oh, there's no search. Um, was it in there? We got English, UK, Ghana. That's weird. Um, 
they got dots at the end, so maybe it's gonna be like, there it is. Yes, the dots indicate that there's gonna be a sub-choice of the English language. gotten accustomed to Easter um, This part I'm not going to nail it. I should probably edit that out. <laughs> Oops. I don't know what that was. I wonder what they use instead of a Windows key. Oh, it's some kind of thing. It's like a rectangle with like shields on the sides. Okay. Ooh, better make sure to type that in. That'll be fine. <laughs> so let's see if we can partition and encrypt an entire hard drive while we watch. This is why people come to YouTube, man. It's quality content. And a GIF of a rocket ship. That is actually really fast. It's not a whole lot in there right now. I've never used um, Hop OS before. Um, coming from like Ubuntu and mostly Mint. I spent a lot of time in Mint. It's probably my favorite. Um, flavor of Linux. That was really quick. Do I need to restart or are you just... Oh, restart or shut down. Okay, so that was pretty quick. There's no CD-ROM device, so that failed to unmount a CD. Further encryption stuff. Nice. Um, talk extends to edges. Don't get it. Oh, cool. Ooh, that's an option? That's nice. It's a little bit Windows style, isn't it? I prefer it. Show workspaces button. Mm. Um. That's fine. Ooh. Small complaint, they should probably like look at my billing address and just that's asking a lot though. They could figure out where I am. Or just default to New York. I want I don't know how many people actually log on from like Molly or whatever. Connect your online accounts. I don't think I will do that. No. Sweet, that's it. So I wonder if my terminal shortcut works. Control Alt T. Nope. Pop is not mint, so that's fair. Let's see how much we've got. 40 megs total. 40 gig total. Forgive me, I uh, grew up in a different era. 
and oops. should have two terabytes in here. So yeah, it looks like it's about right. Cool. So it feels snappy. It uh, works. Um, the workspace switching. I have to fix. Oh my god, these arrow keys are not pretty. Switching workspace is going to be a little bit of a chore. And navigating text files, all that stuff. But this thing is so amazingly light. It's incredible. It's silent. We'll see when I get a workload on it what it's like, but I am very impressed right now. The screen is really nice. And I cannot wait to carry around this featherweight thing. Um, coffee shop to coffee shop. Um, that's it. I think it's thoroughly unboxed. Okay, see ya.